They spent how much on what? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that spent crazy money on useless things. For this list, we're going over the films that shelled out big cash on unimportant things or just plain overspent. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. World War Z This zombie apocalypse film had quite the troubled production, with reports of arguments behind the scenes, not to mention a fair amount of controversy due to its complete departure from its source material. Get back in your car right now! Remain with your <laughs> Most troubling of all is the fact that the entire ending had to be reshot. The film's original ending was much more depressing and saw Brad Pitt's character conscripted into the Russian military to fight the zombie menace and his wife forced to sell her body for favors in a refugee camp. Are you okay? Yeah, everything's okay. I'm okay. Although the total cost of filming the original ending, which featured a large-scale battle in Russia, is unknown, the reshoots reportedly cost an additional 40 to 70 million dollars if not more. Be prepared for anything. Number 9. The Goonies Fittingly, The Goonies has something of its own urban legend, a scene with an octopus. Fans debated the existence of the scene for years, with some remembering it in the film and others not. Data even mentions it at the end of the movie. But like One-Eyed Willie's treasure, this one was real too. It's cool, load up! Anything you can find in your pocket! Mikey, Mikey stop that! What? That's Willie's. Save that for Willie. The kids indeed encounter an octopus in a deleted scene, which was added to some TV broadcasts of the film, and that's why only some people remembered it. As far as the actual cost of the scene, with underwater elements, child actors, an original song, and a massive octopus puppet, it set production back for several days of shooting. And while no exact figures have been revealed, a half a million dollars when adjusted for inflation has been estimated. All that for something few people ever saw. Number 8. Ghostbusters the finale of this divisive film sees the Ghostbusters secretary Kevin possessed by the film's villain, who is able to make other people do whatever he wants. And apparently at this particular moment, what the villain wanted everyone to do was dance. I would like to see you dance. The supernatural flash mob sequence reportedly took two days of shooting and cost somewhere in the seven figures to produce. I can Ultimately, it was excised from this part of the film because it broke up the flow of its climax. Some of the footage can be seen in the credits, but it by no means feels like the filmmakers got their money's worth. Oh, this is fun. Number 7. Sahara Best remembered as a colossal flop, and that movie you saw on cable that one time, Sahara saw its budget become grossly inflated by a ton of wasteful spending. You should put the money to better use. By containing this plague. With outrageous expenditures on everyday things, from bottled water to catering to alleged and possibly illegal bribes to Moroccan officials, the little things added up quite a bit. But those pale when compared to some of the larger expenses, such as paying nearly $4 million to a group of 10 screenwriters. The most wasteful use of money, however, was arguably the $2 million spent on a plane crash sequence that was ultimately cut from the film. Regardless, Sahara itself did more than enough crashing on its own. Yeah! Number 6. The Blues Brothers Despite how successful and beloved the Blues Brothers film is, it definitely had a rocky production. Its initial budget had nearly doubled by the time it wrapped. Part of this was no doubt due to the big-name musical cameos, as well as the scheduling problems. Plus, that car chase cannot have been cheap. Pier 1 Imports. But one of the most bizarre expenditures, later revealed by star Dan Aykroyd, was a dedicated budget for cocaine. Night shoots ensured that many of the people working on the Blues Brothers had trouble staying awake, and the white powder apparently helped keep their eyes open. Now, who here at this table can honestly say that 
they played any finer or felt any better than they did when they were with the Blues Brothers. And because drugs can hardly be put on their official books, we may never know just how much of the budget was spent on drugs. Hey man, don't worry. We got a couple of days. We'll get the Penguins tax money. Number 5. X-Men – Days of Future Past This sequel, prequel, and continuation of the original trilogy of films can be hard to wrap your head around. Hello, Logan. There are various characters to keep track of, and though they are mostly well-managed, it's easy to lose track and allow for something to fall through the cracks. In Rogue's case, this happened literally. <laughs> the character was cut out of most of the movie, and as her storyline was fairly self-contained, she only appears near the end in the theatrical cut. A Rogue cut has since been released with her footage restored, but Anna Paquin's salary, plus the reshoots that cutting her out necessitated, still cost the studio a pretty penny. Where's Bobby? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kitty. Number 4. Green Lantern This DC superhero movie was not the most lauded in their cinematic collection. Although it isn't the worst DC film, its behind-the-scenes issues, which included arguments between the director and star Ryan Reynolds, as well as numerous revisions by the studio, are very evident on screen. Oh, I'm sorry, I, did I disappoint you? I materialized a racetrack out of pure energy saving hundreds of people and you're disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that." The most common criticism, though, is the quality of the special effects. Even before release, the visual effects were soundly criticized in the trailers. To fix this, an extra $9 million were spent to improve them before Green Lantern's release. But not anymore. No! No! Don't! Don't do this! Hector! However, the disappointing visuals remained a glaring issue in the finished product, especially the CGI suit. They might as well not have spent that $9 million, right? Wow. I know, right? Number 3. The Hobbit Franchise Where do we even start with these movies? The marketing campaign was hugely expensive and honestly pretty weird. The 3D and annoyingly high frame rate both cost a ton and were unfortunately resoundingly disliked. No, thank you! The effects are another common target, both for looking unnatural and, worse, inferior to those of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which was released a decade earlier. Oh, and then there's the fact that around $2 million were spent for each page of the 300-page The Hobbit being adapted. I'll be all right. Just let me sit quietly for a moment. You've been sitting quietly for far too long. At a whopping $745 million for all three films, we know they had cash to burn, but still. The original trilogy cost less than half that, even adjusted for inflation. The dwarves' greed might have been contagious. I warned your grandfather of what his greed would summon. Number 2. Superman Returns This odd duck Superman movie didn't resonate with everyone, but there are definitely parts of it that fans can appreciate. However, its director, Brian Singer, found one especially large part of it he didn't like, the opening. Originally, the film was meant to open on an extended sequence of Superman exploring the remains of his destroyed world Krypton. Although its more somber tone does clash a bit with the rest of the movie, it got pretty far into post-production before being scrapped. The effects look almost finished, so it's a bit odd that Singer let it get that far, particularly since it reportedly cost $10 million to make. Hey, guess what? You ain't even seen The Last of Superman on this list. Which is, of course, a huge clue, but honestly, our choice for number one on this list is one of my favorite ridiculous Hollywood stories. However, it's so strange it's true, so let's take a look at some costly honorable mentions, and then we'll find out which movie spent the craziest amount of money on something useless. <laughs> continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number 1. Justice League the DCEU has had several movies with troubled productions, but Justice League's issues are the most apparent. I believe in truth, but I'm also a big fan of justice. Original director Zack Snyder left the film in part due to a personal tragedy, but the move was also seemingly affected by the poor reaction of higher-ups to what he'd shot up until that point. The result was $25 million in reshoots by director Joss Whedon, and a movie that's wildly inconsistent in terms of tone. The reshoots lasting so long also led to actor Henry Cavill's mustache infamously having to be edited out with visual effects, which was done astonishingly poorly. Yes, ma'am. It could be argued that these controversies actually hurt the film's box office returns. So by not spending it, they could have theoretically made more. Glad I didn't miss this. So am I. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.